I this cat is called don't give me five. What we have to do is create a function that takes a start and a endpoint, and we have to generate a list of integers between those two points. And what we have to do is to filter out all the files in the list and then collect all the other numbers in a list and return the length of that list. Let's go. Here we are. So here we have an example of all the numbers that we have to include in our new list. And then we have to return the sum of it. So let me start for integer. And then we use the range function and it takes two arguments. The mandatory argument will be the end, but optional is a start as well. And as a third argument, you can give in a step, but that's an argument that we won't use here. So let's print the range here, print the integers that goes from four till 16. Let's add another iteration here. And there we have a list from four till 17, but now we have to filter out the five. How do we do that? Can we use a condition like, um, is there a five in integer or something? Of course this won't work. As you can see, the argument type integer is not iterable, but this is actually what we have to do. We have to look in the integers for a five, but we have to use strings for that. So let's convert the integer five to a string. And also this integer is castable to a string with the str method. And takes the integer as a method. And tada, as you can see, the five has a five in it and 15 has a five in it. And based on this condition, we can filter those numbers out. So if there is a five in the integer, we just continue. And in all the other cases, else we print the integer for demonstration purposes. There we have the list. The five and 15 are filtered out, but of course you have to append them to a new list. Let's call the result and append the integers to result of course. And let's return the list here. Yeah, but we are not supposed to return the entire list, but only the number of elements in them. And for that, we can use the length method LAN and pass in the list as an argument. There are 12 values in it. Let's test it out. Perfect attempt. There we go. Hope this has been useful and that you learned something from it. If so, please consider dropping a like and hope to see you in another video. Ciao.